everyone! So today I have a tutorial for you all on the look that I'm wearing right now. It's um, it's a nude and like really deep brown black smoky eye, a really great party look. Um, I wanted to pair something up with a nude lip because I recently got MAC Pure Zen which I'm wearing on my lips now and I love it so so much and I really wanted to do something that was really nice and dark and smoky that would go really nicely with this lip combo. So if you guys like the look, keep watching for the tutorial. Welcome! Okay, so I'm going to start out with my Hourglass Number no. 28 Primer Serum. This one is great for dehydrated and, uh, and dry skin. I just feel like it makes a really nice sticky base for foundation. Okay, and I'm just blending that in with my fingers. Okay, and for foundation I'm going to take a new foundation which is the uh, Dior Star foundation. I'm really liking this. For a long wearing foundation it's actually really quite lightweight so I'm liking that. Okay, so I'm just going to take two pumps. I'm just going to dot that all over. And I'm just going to blend that one in with the Marc Jacobs Face One brush. And now I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just going to apply that under the eyes, around the nose, on the chin and around the mouth, um, and on any blemishes as well. But I find that that foundation does a fairly good job of covering blemishes. And just blending that one in with the MAC 224. Next I'm going to set my foundation using the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder on a MAC 138 brush and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a rolling patting motion and I feel that that actually sets the skin a lot nicer and keeps the foundation in place a lot nicer. Especially around the eyes because I have really bad problems with creasing and because we're doing such a dark shadow I find that the creases are more obvious if I, um, if I don't set my eyes well. And for blush, I'm going to take a uh, NARS Orgasm and I'm just going to apply that to the apples of the cheeks. And that's just using my regular MAC 116. Next, I'm just going to do my brows. So first of all I'm going to comb through them with a uh, spoolie brush. I'm going to take my By Terry eyebrow liner, uh, this one is in blonde. Now these are quite red based but I uh, usually I use my Anastasia Brow Wiz and there's a heap of colours in those. Stila also has a really good version of this as well and I find the, uh, the colours are more of a taupey kind of um, kind of line, they're, they're a lot cooler than these ones are. I'm just going to take my Anastasia Brow Wiz and any kind of bald spots in my eyebrows I'm just going to fill in with that. and then I'm just combing them through. I 
because I dye my hair, I have a really hard time with my eyebrows because my hair is so much darker than my natural hair colour. I find my eyebrows have a really grey cast in comparison to the warm hair colour that I get my hair dyed. So I like to kind of, yeah, I like I, I like to get the product in there. <laughs> okay, so for eyes, I'm just going to take the NARS Pro Prime all over the lid. Just blend it with fingers. And as a base all over the lids, I'm going to take a MAC Painterly Paint Pot just on my fingers and just apply that all over the movable lid. So all over the lid, I'm going to take a Inglot AMC eyeshadow or pure pigment in number 14, which is a nice kind of nude colour, very similar to, uh, to MAC Naked. I'm just going to take that on the MAC 239 brush. I'm just going to pat that all over the lid. I'm just going to pop a little bit just underneath as well, just on the inner part. So for this look, I am going to take predominantly two brushes and a pencil brush. Now it's very important that you have one that you apply colour with and one that you blend colour out with. Otherwise you kind of get, you get colour everywhere and it's best to kind of apply colour, start to blend it and then blend it out with a, uh, with a clean brush to really get that diffused look. So to start off with, I'm going to take a transition colour which is going to be MAC Wedge, this colour here. And I'm going to apply that to the outer two-thirds of the eye and up into the crease and under the eye as well. Because this is a lighter colour and it's my transition colour, I won't need to use the blending brush as much, but when we move into the darker colours, I will start to use that blending brush. Now by no means does this part have to be neat because it is such a close colour to your skin colour. It will actually um, it will actually diffuse quite nicely and there's a lot of colour going to go on top of this. I'm doing this on such a large blending brush because I really want to diffuse that, uh, that transition colour all under the eye. And I'm just taking my uh, my clean brush and I'm just blending at the crease to make sure there's no harsh line and it's got a nice transition. Now the main colour we're going to be using is NARS Bengali. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that on my NARS blending brush and I'm just going to apply that to the outer uh, the outer one third and start blending that and building it up to be a really nice deep smoky colour. Okay, and taking my clean brush and just blending out. And again, I'm just going to take some more of that darker colour and just keep building it up and blending it out.
Now if you have any particularly stubborn lines that need blending, the, uh, the MAC 227 brush is awesome for that. It kind of just works like an eraser in that if you have a part that just won't blend well, it just comes in and blends it. It's awesome. Okay, so I'm just wiping off my um, my colour brush and I'm just going to take some more of that transition colour and I'm just going to blend that into the crease and just on the lid a little. So I'm just cleaning up those lines, making sure there's no harsh edges. So just on the MAC 219, I'm going to take some of that NARS Bengali and I'm just going to uh, pop that under the outer part of the bottom lid. And I'm just using that brush to blend in and connect the bottom to the top to make it look like it's just smoked all the way around. So I'm just going to take a bit of a bit more of that transition color wedge and blend that under the eye to make sure that that uh, Bengali under there blends really nicely. To deepen that up a little more, I'm just going to take Mac Carbon uh, on the 219 brush and I'm just going to blend that into the outer corner of the upper lid and the very outer corner of the bottom lid. Okay, so I'm just taking it on my brush and I'm just placing it in that very kind of outer corner and just a little bit along the lash line. And just with short strokes I'm just blending that out. I'm just taking my blending brush again and I'm just kind of blending over the top of that to make sure that it just diffuses into that dark brown. Next I'm just going to take my Hourglass Mechanical Gel Liner and I'm going to line my inner rims um, and then I'm going to start to apply the liner on the upper lid uh, just kind of in between the lashes and I'm going to smudge that out and deepen the upper lash line up with a pencil brush. Now that I've lined my inner rims, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that liner just on the outer corner, uh, just on the bottom lash line, and I'm going to smudge that out with the 219 brush. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the top. Now with this I recommend doing one part at a time because it does set quite quickly. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm just going very, very close to the lashes. What I'm going to do now that I've smudged that liner is take a little bit more of MAC Carbon and just uh, press that into the lash line as well. Feel the need to apply a little bit more of that transition color uh, MAC Wedge just back under my eye as well. I feel like I've lost that color. Just putting a little bit back on the lids as well. So I'm just applying it everywhere. I'm blending it through the crease too. <laughs> I like how that, like, I like how that pigment has just kind of illuminated the inner part of the eye where we haven't applied any of the, um, any of the darker colors. So it's looking quite nice. And uh, now I'm just going to curl my lashes and then apply my Dior It Lash Mascara and my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. And then I'll move on to lips. And just taking a uh, clean MAC 224 brush, we're just going to apply some uh, Mary Luminizer uh, from the Balm just on my cupid's bow, the inner corners of my eyes, and just on my cheekbones. And for lips, I'm just going to take a MAC Subculture Lip Liner. And then on top of that, I'm going to take MAC Pure Zen. I recently got this and I am in love with it. It is the best lipstick. It just... It makes your lips look healthy and I just love it. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's turned out a lot better than I expected. <laughs> and that's it. That's the whole look. I, um, I hope you guys liked the tutorial. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I really like a nice dark smoky eye for going out. Um, I feel like it really makes every eye colour really pop. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if you guys liked the tutorial, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to see anything else, please don't hesitate to comment. I'd, um, I'd love to hear what you'd like to see and I'd be happy to do it for you. So yeah, that's everything and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.